Good evening, everyone. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Well, good. That's great. Thank you. Okay, guys, so we are going to start now. Uh, this is our fourth lesson. And related to this, we are going to start like having certain reviews today and tomorrow we are going to have like uh, practice because that is the topic that we have for today's because we are going to have vocabulary practice. First, for today, we are going to have a, um, a practice of a previous topic and tomorrow we are going to end with another practice in that way we are going to finish with unit one right and uh, the first um, practice that we are going to do in this moment is this what are three personal values you transfer to your interactions with co-workers. Remember that we were talking about the values? Can you name some of them? Try to have the, the feedback of the vocabulary. Do you remember any of those uh, values that we studied, like the course, the core values? Don't you remember any? Are you here? Are you here? Can you listen to me? Yes, I listen. I don't remember the balloons. Ah, okay. 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 If you do not remember the values, Okay, we are going to work in our books because we have uh, this exercise in our books and that is page 17. We have a crossword puzzle and we need to solve it. 
but for doing that, this, we need to practice with your classmates. I'm going to show you, you have here, please try to look uh, for this page in your books, right? Please, we have this and also I'm going to, let me see. I'm going to show you the VIA book. Let me see if I can share it with you because this is just my PowerPoint. But if you can see the book, it is better. I said that is on page 17. Let me see. This is the real, this is the book. So you might go and work in this page. When I was asking you about the values, if you remember the ones that we were working with, well, we have here the vocabulary. Remember that from those values, we have empathy, leadership, responsibility, punctuality, honesty, efficiency, <clears throat> innovation, integrity, loyalty, and respect, right? <clears throat> now, do you remember them? Yes? Yes. Okay. Now that we have this, you are going to work with your classmates completing this puzzle, right? So it means that we are going to work with your classmates in different breakout rooms. In this moment, we are 14. Let me see, we are going to have different teams, uh, around five participants per each of them, five or six. So it would be nice if, if one of you uh, can share the book with the rest, right? And then you are filling in the information in the right moment. Okay, and I'm going to open all the rooms. We will have around five minutes to work with this vocabulary. This is just to brush up on your notes about them. Michelle. Yes. Estaré de oyente un momento. Ok. Gracias.
¿Cómo, cómo hicieron para lo del libro? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo hiciste para lo del libro? Yo no, sinceramente, no, no me fijé en eso. No lo tengo. Ahí en la eh, plataforma lo puedo descargar. En, ah, no, te lo y también en, en, el, en el WhatsApp, en el grupo de WhatsApp lo, lo mandó. Ah, ok. Ya voy a revisar después, entonces. Ajá, ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp está. Sí. Gracias. Uh -huh. Entonces ya lo lograron ver. Sí, aquí lo estoy viendo. Fíjate que hay tres palabras así con, con ese espacio. Honesty, res, respect y no sé cómo se dice, loyalty. Loyalty. Ajá, Ajá. pero Va, veamos la otra que dice. Uh -huh. Quizás por lo que dice. Ah, pero es que, ajá, también dice hacia abajo, de down, hacia abajo. Yes, yes, yeah, ajá. Across es así, cruzado. Ah, Entonces, okay. sí, ajá. La otra dice, the feel that some things or someone should not be harm and treated really, really, roundly. The feel, the be feel. A veces tratas como de no... La 10 creo que es honesty. La 10. Okay. Begin. Ahí es como como de liderar un grupo, organización, algo así. Esto sería leadership. Ajá, sí, dice ser bueno liderando un grupo o una organización, dice el, el cuatro. Uh 
Entonces sería leadership, habría que, habría que anotarlo para, para ver con, con cuál de las dos, si empatía o con loyalty se, se conecta. Yo creo que es con la de la que dijo el compañero, creo que era lo esa. Loyalty, porque se unen Lo, en las cuatro lo, y en las tres. Siempre queda la A. ¿eh? Ah, sí, verdad. Uh -huh. <ríe> Qué trampa es. La segunda ya estuvo. No. La segunda, quiero ver, ¿con cuál otra se une esa? La 5, con la 5, la 5 lo tendríamos que hacer. La 5 dice que es la introducción de nuevas ideas, métodos e inventos. O inventos. Innovación. Innovación. Eso sí, aquí va. Innovación. Innovación. Pero esa de loyalty, ¿con qué otra la podríamos unir? Uy, ya no tiene otra. Innovación, loyalty. Sería la 1. Esa sería la 4. Esa sería la 5. La 6 va aquí. Y la que sobra es respect en la dos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Respect. Yo creo que así es. ¿Verdad? Creo que la uno es loyalty y la ocho es empathy por los... Por las por el significado, por lo que describen abajo. Ajá, es que es de, es de leer abajo y buscar. Ajá, porque la 8 dice la habilidad de entender cómo se sienten los demás. Entonces, ¿qué? En este momento lo voy a mandar Wilfredo a trabajar con room number one. Ok. Ser moral con fuerza y be having according, o sea que empieza desde lo, los principios morales o que la moral es como lo principal para vos en lo, en lo que, que vos crees, ajá, porque dice that you believe in, o sea, es como en lo que crees, ¿verdad? Ajá. Considero que puede ser eso. Lo, fíjate que tiempo ajá efficiency de ahí sí de ahí solo nos queda la 7 y la 2 la 7 
Esa creo que es integridad. Y cabe. Okay. Así es que y dice, cabe. ser honesto y justo y comportarse de acuerdo con los principios morales en los que crees. Justo, integridad. Ser honesto y justo. Sería integridad. Ya la tenemos, ¿no? No. no. Y la ah. dos sería respect. Ah, pues sí. Sí, todas las tenemos buenas. Okay, be ready because we're coming back, right? So please be ready. Okay, guys, now that you have been working with your classmates, I think that hoy sí nos acordamos muy bien, ¿verdad? <laughs> de toda yes. la descripción de los values. Now, let's see. I know that it's been a little bit hard trying to identify each of them. But now, after analyzing them, you have the results. Okay, let's see. Which is the one... That uh, I'm going to make, I'm going to submit a little bit more because it is kind of difficult for me to read it. So I'm going to be like this. And since you have the book, uh, it is better for you to, to just tell me the answers. And let's see if everyone is in agreement, okay? Can any of you tell me about the, um, the answer for Number one? Loyally. Loyally. Okay, so we have law. Loyalty. Okay. So uh, we have loyalty. Is everyone in agreement? Yes? Yes. Okay, now let's see which is number four. Leadership. Leadership. Okay. So we have here leadership. Number five. Innovation. 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 Okay, good. Number six. Responsibility. Can you repeat, please? Responsibility. Responsibility, okay. So we have Reese, Han, Say, B, Lee, T. Number eight. Empathy. Empathy. So we have empathy. Number nine. Neutrality. Okay. 
Okay, number 10. Honest. Number three. Efficiency. And number two? Respect. And finally, number seven? Integrity. 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 Okay. Was it difficult for you to get all this? Definitions? Were they difficult? Maybe. Okay, kind of? Kind of. Kind of, right? They were kind of difficult to uh, get the final result about each definition, right? Okay. Since we are having this like uh, review about the values, it is important. Do you remember uh, when do we need to, to we apply the values? When do we use them? Don't you remember? When you describe uh, the person or you consider the person, for example, my sister is very honesty. Very honest. Okay. Honest. Oh, okay. She honest. Is very honest. Okay. Good. Aha, but in which context did we study the uh, values? The core values in the world. Aha, uh -huh, the core values, right? The core values in the work. Because we were working about the work, remember? And that's why we are mentioning leadership. <clears throat> because at any job, what we want there leadership. is to have leaders, right? And also, if we say uh, efficiency, also, we need to uh, respect among the co-workers, right? Among the authorities. Also, we expect a responsibility uh, for every single co-worker because everyone is a very important piece in that map, right? And um, punctuality. Do you think is this something important in your job? Yes, very important. Very important. Why? Why do you think it is very important? Because um you you represent that who is the person is or you you are a responsibility and respect the the work when uh -huh. you when you go or when you get a very at time on time okay yes time. it is a matter of responsibility right whenever you are punctual it means that you respect your co-workers and uh, and indeed the duties that, that you have to do in there. Well, as you can see, all all the values here are something really, um, how can I say, really important for us, and not only for us, but also for the the place where we are working, right? It can be a factory, it can be an enterprise, wherever we work. It can be uh, a cafeteria, but if you are responsible, if you have leadership, if you are um, 
honest, I think that wherever you go, we need to show different values, right? And now, now that you have discussed again the values, I think now you can, um, instead of erasing, I'm going to go back to the presentation, right? Okay, here. Now that you brush up on your on your notes, now you can answer this one. What are three personal values you transfer to your interactions with coworkers? You name three personal values. Where are you gonna do it? Type them in the chat box. In the chat box, everyone type, please, three values that you practice with your coworkers. Okay, type them. Okay, thank you, Rosa. Okay, Elsa, Valerie, Jennifer, good. <laughs> Efficiency, responsibility, respect, empathy. Kindness, respect and trust. Honesty. And empathy. Okay, Moses, punctuality, respect and responsibility, okay? Honesty, respect and loyalty. It is started raining here. What about in your house? Is it raining? No, teacher. No, it is not raining in your house. Well, here it has yeah. started, right? <clears throat> but it doesn't look like a storm. It's just raining, right? Where do you okay. live? I live in Cuscatancingo. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. You all keep writing here. Okay, now that you have answered this, now we can continue with the this. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about um, some steps that we need to follow in order to uh, develop our business values. Because if we are talking about values and if we are talking about our jobs, uh, all of them are related to our business. But now let us think a little bit <clears throat> like if, what about if we have an, it is our business and you are the owner of your business, right? Let us think about how would you apply the values or what would you um, 
how would you do it? What aspects would be important for you, right? So we are going to, we have here, we have listed five of them, right? And it says, and I would like you to help me reading, please. Um, we have a lot of listeners nowadays. Carlina, listeners, Jessica, listener, Kenya, listener. Okay. Any volunteer who wants to help me reading this slide? No volunteers? Okay, thank you very much. Remberto. Yes. Um, when I start, number one, reflect on your principles. Oh, a step for developing business yes. values. Yes, yes, please. Uh, a clear set of values that are agreed upon and understood by everyone in the business are important for success. If your business is yet to Ooh, establish, establish. Teacher, establish, 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 establish a set of values. The following process can help you to identify and develop them. Number one, reflect on your price, please. Principles. Pri principles, belief, and values. The first step is to think about your personal prin oh, principles. Principle. Principles. Principles. <laughs> Principles <laughs> and belief and link these of the values that you have to your business. Ask yourself, what do I value in other businesses as an employee and as a customer? What values do I hold that will be core to my business? Thank you very much, Remberto. I try. <laughs> Here we have two questions because as it says, if your business, let us imagine that this is your business, right? And then which ones do you want to establish in them? That's what it says. The following process can help you to identify and develop them. And then we have here, Two questions. <clears throat> Why do I value in other business as an employee and as a customer? When you are an employee, you see some values. But when you are a customer, you see some other values. And then, what values do I hope that will be core to my business? Now this is important. In this moment, I want you to think about your own business. Which values are going to be for you the core one? Remember that we were listing the different cores which were the top uh, values. Now it is going to be a little bit dif dif different because you're going to think about if you were the owner of that business because you are going to be in charge of them. So you need to think about, I'm going to have employees and also I'm going to have customers. Which values do you want them, in this case the employees, to see or to practice in your business? Right? Now it is different, right? Because you need to think about you. Now tell me, what would be the three main values for you, but now you are the owner of the business 
¿Qué demandaría? Which values do you want to practice? Or would you like to add in your enterprise, in your factory? Which ones? Do you think that they are going to be the same? Los que escribieron ahí? Or do you think they are going to be different? Elsa. I think if I will be the owner. Yes. Uh, I think uh, efficiency. 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 Loyally. Aha. Uh -huh. And leadership. And leadership. Okay. Why, Elsa? Because um, there is the val values that I consider more import important for my than my employees. Employees. Health. Okay. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Elsa. Anybody else? What would be the values that you would choose that you would apply in your business? Kerin Escobar, ah no, dice que es oyente. Mateo de Jesús Torres. And what? La segunda sería, ¿verdad? What values? Eso es lo que estamos contestando. If you were the owner of a business, what values would you like to uh, include in it? Ah, casi no la escuché, perdón. Es que está lloviendo. Is it raining there? Okay. If you were the owner of your business, what values would you like to have in it? Uh, responsibility mm -hmm. and efficiency. Efficiency, another one, because there are three. Uh, and la otra, otra, otra. empathy. Empathy. Why? Uh, with uh, when we em cuando nosotros tenemos empatía, creo que trabajamos mejor y okay. hacemos eficiente nuestro trabajo también. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You see that you're going to think a little bit different. It is different when we are the coworkers. And now it is going to be different if you are thinking that you are the owner of the business. Let's see. Then we have here the number two. And I would like to listen to Moses. Okay. Can you read it for me, please? Okay, number two. Yes. Uh, assembly a team of people to work on value creation. Uh, assemble team of people that can work together to create, to create and draft the business values. If your business are trading and has a staff, Choose people that understand the business culture, demonstrate leadership skills, and are key to the business function. If your business are new and do not have staff, find to tell people from outside the business to help. E G. Uh, mentors, friends, and um, business officers. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right? The importance of this is, well, now, if you have, if you already have staff, it says, 
Um, just people that understand the business culture. So it depends of what kind of business you're going to uh, open, right? Or if you already have it. So you need to understand that you need to demonstrate leadership skills that are key to the business function. But when we say here to demonstrate skills, it is that you are the leader. If you are the owner, you have to be the leader, right? And that's what it says, and uh, are the key to business functions. But if you don't have staff, right, you need to look for those um, uh, participants to help you, right? So you need to start looking for some of them. Maybe you will have some friends. Maybe you will have some business advisors because you need information, right? When we don't have a business, we are learning how to create it, how to work with the staff. I think that working with people, it is the most diff difficult task that we have as human beings. What do you think? Or do you think that working with people is an easy task? Do you think, do you think so? No? Oops, sorry. And then we have to have a brainstorm. And the brainstorm is when we have different ideas, whatever that comes to your mind, but we need to think, you, you need to start designing what you really want, right? And then that's what it says that we uh, better try to identify the categories of values that are most suitable for your business, right? You can have uh, business growth, customer service, decision making, teamwork, leadership, staff, business culture, social community, and environmental sustainability, right? But it depends from your business. Take notes because later you are going to create your own business, okay? Don't think that this is just... <laughs> Yes, for you to read it. We are going to create, we are going to design our own business. And then number four, it is okay, Wilfredo. And then it says we have to reflect on the meaning of each value. Once you have chosen the values, you should reflect on the meaning of each of them. Consider the following. What is this value about? For example, when you were working with the values <clears throat> and when you were talking about uh, punctuality, you need to analyze and you need to think about it and then you need to say, hey, what is this value about? Because sometimes we don't really know. What about responsibility, punctuality? Are they, are they the same or are they different? Or one depends from another one. Which goes first? Which goes second? It depends on the importance that you have, right? And then, will staff and customers easily understand its meaning? Because one thing is that you understand them. Another thing is that your customers and maybe your employees understand them. What assumptions are behind it? What other 
words, ideas, or mental images might be associated with it. Is it relevant to current operations? Will the value to help uh, will the value help the business reach its identified goals? And will it be relevant in one, two, three, four, five years ahead? Or do you think that they are going to be different from five years now? We need to think, remember that we were talking about mission and vision, right? So we need to think ahead. If you are talking about your business, you need to go five, 10 years ahead, right? You are very passive, but. Okay, this is the last one. We have number five. It is that we need to translate your business values into a set of actions. The final step is creating business values is to convert them into a guiding set of actions. So this is action. When we think about them, we need to think about actions, right? Because that is what we really want when we are thinking about them, right? Um, and now that we have uh, talked in a general way about these steps for you to follow, maybe you think that this is not that relevant for you because you're not thinking about, uh, about having your own business. But maybe later, what about if you have the opportunity, maybe you might think about it. Right? And meanwhile, meanwhile you think about it, we are going to work about this. You are going to prepare a two-minute presentation about the impact of the core values of your company. In this case, you need to think about your own company and the personal include at least five values. Right? And it says, use examples to show how people in your company apply those values. But now you're going to do it with your own. You're going to think about your own company and your own business, and you need to think about which are going to be the core values of that company. But in the two-minute presentation, you need to think, you need to name not only the values, you need to say why are those values relevant for you? For you, I mean the team that is going to work with uh, that. For example, we're going to have three different teams. You are going to think about one company. What company are you thinking about? Is it going to be uh, a, a store? Is it going to be a cafeteria? Is it going to be um, what? What are you thinking about about your company? Think maybe it can. You're going to think about something small. Maybe you're going to think about something really big, huge company. But which are going to be the core values? Right, and which are they? And you need to explain that. Is it clear? Is it clear? Not yet. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Yes. But I I want to check something, porque tengo muchos listeners. Lo voy a dejar así con equipos grandes. Porque en cada equipo mínimo me van a aparecer dos oyentes. ¿Ok? Porque si los dejo de menos, de repente me van a quedar tres oyentes y solo uno como uh, participante. ¿Ok? So, I, I will leave the three, the three of them, but now I'm going to recreate them. You're going to work with different people. Not with the same. So you will have 10 minutes to work in this presentation, 
right? One of you is going to share the information. And I want you to prepare una lamina, a PowerPoint presentation where you like this one that you have and which you are going to list the five or I'm saying five or maybe you think about a different um, way to present that maybe you want to include one more maybe you want to include six or seven right but the base it is five a different uh, values now 10 minutes for you to work <clears throat> i'm going to be checking what you're doing in every in every room and when we finish we're coming back here to share the information okay we're going to work Hola, hola. Hola. Creo que... Eh, solo María, René, Mateo y yo. Sí, sí los demás son hoy. A eso me refería. ¿Ok? Oh, ok. María, René, Mateo y yo. Okay, thank you, teacher. Um, Por decir un, un ejemplo, um, si fuera una empresa, un banco, por dar un ejemplo, tiene que ser honesto. ¿Por qué honesto? Pues porque en el banco se maneja mucho dinero y entonces es la persona que tiene que ser honesta, ya ah. que eh, maneja eh, eso, el dinero. Algo así tendría que ser, como justificando cada valor en base a, la, a, a lo que se hace en la empresa. Ah, pues... De... Okay. Uh, ya le tomo uh, foto ¿no? ya lo mandó <ríe> ¿Qué, no? uh, qué tal como dulce aroma <ríe> Creo que tiene que ser en inglés. O así. Ajá, pero no en inglés. ¿Cómo? ¿Qué? ¿Cómo ah, se llama? No, ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Sense? No. Ajá. Sweet scent. Sweet scent. Cafeteria. Sweet scent. Kevin, Wilmer, and Wilfredo.
Karen, Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. So you are a listener? Yes. Un poquito más de salud. Oh yes, yes. Entonces, y por eso de que puse ahí mejor uh -huh. oyente. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. La disculpa okay. del caso. Okay, okay, Karen. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, kid. Wilfredo. Hello, Wilfredo. Wilmer. la reunión. Gracias. Excuse me. Respect. Yo di, Respect. Yo dije leader, yo dije leadership, pero ajá, no sé. Leadership. Ajá. Yes. Ah, sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, yeah. aplica. Okay. Leadership. Leadership. Yes. Eh, honesty. Sí, definitivamente. Pienso y sobre que sí. todo. <risa> <risa> sí. Considero y sobre que... todo honest. <risa> honest, sí. Llevamos uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Ya Creo tenemos los cinco. cinco. Okay. Ajá. Repitámoslo, please, porque yo solo tengo cuatro. Ayúdenme. Okay. Responsibility. Responsibility. Yes. Efficiency. Respect. Yes. Leadership. And Respect. honesty. Ok. 
Okay, that's it. Creo que todos estamos de acuerdo con eso, ¿no? Sí, sí. los tenemos todos eh, iguales, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah. Sí. Felicidad podría, podría ser eh, eso del programa de los reos, e incluir a, a las personas y que ellos, ellos, bueno, están dando su confianza y están aportándolo de una buena manera en el trabajo, pero no sé en qué palabras podría, se podría poner, pero no sé si me captan la idea. Sí, sí, eh, sí. De hecho, creo que Oswaldo, pues ahí también. Ah, vaya, ajá. gracias, Oswaldo. <risa> Ok, ya voy a, ya voy a ver ahí entonces. Okay. Ya vemos, entonces. Ay, me encanta. Oswaldo tiene mucha eh, fluidez. Fue Google. Ah, pero la tiene. Busqué <risa> como diversidad laboral. Te voy a compartir lo que, lo que estoy haciendo porque... Eh, Coffee, coffee shop. Mm. Uh, sí. Bueno, no sé. Lo pasamos a atención al cliente. Eh, pongamos la cita en su cliente. Este, acompañándolos desde que ingresan al, al, a la, al, al negocio hasta que se van, algo así. No sé. Dando esa atención ah, desde el inicio al final, ¿verdad? No ah, para que solo lleguen los saludos y de ella no sé. Si quieran algo más. Hola. Hola. Okay, guys, be ready. Just one more minute and then we come back.
Okay, guys. There is, some, there is something, okay, that we haven't done yet. Do you remember that we need to check the attendance? Right? So we are going to do it in this moment and later when we finish, right? Now let's see. So please, before you share your ideas, just remember that you need to uh, turn your cameras on for this moment, please. Alexander Ernesto Alvarado Martinez. Ana Yesenia Guzmán. No, 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 no. Give me a second. Estoy leyendo la lista que no es. It is not you. At this time, I don't see. This is difficult for me. Now this is the one, I'm so sorry. Okay, Alfredo Rigoberto Alcantana. Now I I I know this is the one. <laughs> Alfredo Rigoberto, not here. Alma Brenda Linieto. Elsa Benedicta Magaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Present. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Present teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruballos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present teacher. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. Sure. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present teacher. Kevin Alexis Escobar. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio. Present teacher. María René Jovel Álvarez. <coughs> Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Present Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present teacher. Osvaldo Vladimir Caray Garay Present. Pineda. Present. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Present teacher. Ok. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Ok. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. En Wilmer Mendoza García. Teacher. Yes. Este, se me desconectó más al líder de, de Zoom en lo que estaba pasando lista y no escuché que me mencionara. ¿Su nombre? Hola, ¿quién? ¿Quién habló? Que no logré ver. Genia Lisset Barrera. Genia Lisset. 
Ah, ok, gracias. Pero sí la mencioné, Kenia. Al igual que ahorita. <ríe> ok. Ok, guys. Entonces, ahora sí, we are going to listen to your presentations, right? We have only three different teams. Um, let me see if I do have the information from different, or do we have any volunteers, any represent, represent participant that represents the team? Nobody? Okay, the first uh, team, uh -huh. Teacher, no logramos terminar. No sé si nos podría dar unos cinco minutos adicionales. No sé los demás. <laughs> yes, we don't finish too. You didn't finish either? No. Okay, so you need... We need like, more time. We need more time. Is it okay? Five more minutes? Yes, please. Okay, I will. Ten, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seven. <laughs> okay. Jessica, ¿con qué equipo estaba usted? Jessica Araceli. Estaba con el equipo de... Ay, ¿dónde está el...? No me puedo los nombres todavía, teacher, pero uno de los que le pidió tiempo, pero no el primero, no que el segundo. Renberto, no, ¿verdad? Creo que sí fue Renberto, entonces estaba en el equipo 1. Sí, yo en el equipo 3. Ok. Voy a mandar entonces a Jessica al equipo 1. Ok. Sí, porque ahí está Renberto, Eric, Jennifer. Ok. And, um... Kenia Lisset. En el equipo 3 estaba. En la clase 3. Veamos. Kenia Stephanie. Lo que sucede es que ahí aparece, pero aparece desconectada. Yo aparezco desconectada. Sí. Aparece, Ese pero primer... aparece ahí. Sí, es que tengo problemas con internet. Me ha sacado quizás unas cinco veces del Zoom y empieza a conectar. Y ya me... Tengo bastantes problemas ahorita con la, con la red. Vaya, la voy, a mover, que... la voy a mover al equipo 2, pero inmediatamente que la conecté allá, la vuelvo a pasar para el equipo 3. Muy bien, gracias. Okay.
Osvaldo. Hi. Hi. No aparece en el equipo, ¿verdad? Mm, pero estaba, ya le digo. En el 2. Con, con José Roberto, Kenny sí. Stephanie, Moisés, Jessica, Lucía. Vaya, no me conecta ahorita, pero lo voy a mandar al equipo, let me see, al 1. Y después lo voy a reenviar nuevamente el 2 para que me haga el movimiento porque no responde aquí el sistema. ¿Ok? Ajá, Wilfredo, ¿usted en qué equipo está? Es que me he estado sacando, me he estado también, pero ya. ¿Y en qué equipo estaba trabajando, Wilfredo? No entré, teacher. Ah, no ingresó con ninguno. No. Pero espero, si usted ya, term ya termina, casi. Lo voy a mandar para que se empape. Ok. Okay, pero creo que es similar. No. Tendría o sea, que ser, no, tendría que ser we are staff employee responsible uh -huh. with, the, with our customers, con nuestros clientes. Somos un personal, o tenemos un staff de, de personas responsable. responsables con nuestros clientes. No sé si, yo, yo lo había puesto así, pero no sé, me quedé con la duda, como dijo Valerie y eh, lo que dijeron ustedes con la palabra. Es responsible Teacher, ¿ayuda? Hasta donde yo sé es similar o no. ¿Es the same? ¿The work? ¿O no? Aunque si estamos generalizando y no estamos puntualizando en quién o en quiénes, entonces sí creo que, que se adecua mejor la palabra general. Uh -huh. Responsible. Responsibility. Ah, responsible. Ok. No, pero definámoslo. ¿Cuál de los dos? ¿Responsible o responsibility? Porque escuché... Responsible. Algún... responsible. No, responsible. Sí. sí. Okay. Suena mejor. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces sería, because we are staff employee responsible. With our customers. Sí, with our customers estamos de acuerdo. Okay. okay. Ahora, definamos un valor. Ahorita llamamos dos. Faltan tres. Sí, pero si te das cuenta, solamente lo hemos mencionado como una, como un plus, pero, o sea, somos responsables con nuestros clientes, pero ¿por qué? Tal vez por el. Por, ah, es, eh, lo que no habíamos, es lo que habíamos este, puesto porque mm, somos responsables con ¿Alguien lo mencionó? que entregamos a tiempo nuestros productos, Eso. no sé. Ok, entonces sería We are employed responsible with our customer. Tal vez de la manera okay. más eficiente. Chicos, pero ya se me están desviando porque vamos a ocupar el valor. Y si usted okay. me dice that we are responsible, me lo están pasando como a un adjetivo de la persona pero estamos hablando del valor de la empresa. No, eh, bueno, eh, teacher, I, In this case, I, tendría que ser responsibility. responsibility. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok, sí, tiene razón. Somos responsables con nuestros clientes. ¿o no? Ajá, pero, pero está hablando, eh, sí, en sí de la persona, pero como empresa, lo que están promoviendo es responsibility. 
Right? Mm, ya, ya entendí. Si sí, no, estamos okay. viéndolo de otro punto de vista nosotros. Uh -huh, okay. uh -huh. Están promoviendo responsabilidad, que es el valor. Uh -huh. right? uh -huh. Ahora, que uh -huh. las personas, independientemente, ustedes no saben si Jennifer va a aplicar ese, ese valor y ella va a ser responsable. Usted no lo sabe. Sí, correcto. No ella, ¿verdad? Pero la empresa promueve el valor de la responsabilidad para una mejor atención al cliente. Sí, ok. Ok. Ok, ok, ¿Estamos listos acá? ¿Ready? Yes. Ready. Ready. Ok. Ah, ya no. <laughs> ah, barista. Ajá. Uh -huh. Barista. O la del café, como preparando café, le sale uh -huh. bien. Sí, sí. Ok. Esperemos. Aquí. Sí, 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 va mejor esa que esta. Uh -huh. Chicos, un minutito más y vamos a comenzar, ¿ok? Listo. Ok, teacher. Bye. Uh -huh. Ready, guys? We're coming back. Okay, guys, now we're ready, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. We <laughs> don't think. No, no, no. Not completely this ready, is, no. but at least, oh, no, no. but this at is, least. Uh, it's a bad discussion about the group. It's a bad discussion about the group. Uh, different <laughs> ways, different <laughs> topics. So it's amazing. <laughs> well, but let us see, let us see what we have, right? Don't worry. Let us see what we have. Okay. 
who is going to be the first volunteer who wants uh, to share okay here. okay es, eh, lo voy a presentar pantalla y me avisan si la pueden ver sure. uh, realmente lo hicimos bastante oh my god okay yo alcanzo el tiempo <laughs> aroma coffee shop value square oh my goodness <laughs> Okay, let's see. I know yes. that time time was not enough. I know. Okay. Go First ahead. value is quality. We prepare the coffee with the best ingredients and make your coffee be a good experience. Um, era dos, perdón. To passion the employees demonstrate passion when they use their skill uh, to prepare the coffee. Uh, three service to other provide appropriate health to to clients. Uh, kindness uh, should customer courtesy. It's a it is a powerful tool that can completely transform the customer experience and commitment. Is is commitment. It is the result mm -hmm. of cultivating the relationship uh, between the company and the customer on an going basis beyond a transaction. Okay, very good, very good job. Let me see if I find this. Okay, okay, very good job guys. Okay, now let us listen to the second volunteers. Ya ven por donde van a ir esas, esas empresas. The coffee shop. Aha. <laughs> Saben que somos cafeteros, right? <laughs> okay, guys, we have two missing teams. Don't be okay. shy. Uh, me, teacher. Okay, Moses. Yo presento y los colegas eh, me ayud me apoyan ahí, por favor. Voy a, okay. a compartir. Okay. Okay. ¿Me ayudan mis compañeros de equipo, por favor, o lo digo yo? Yes, eh, le voy a ayudar yo. Bueno, eh, en español, che. nuestro proyecto trata de una ONG. En la ONG, pues, existen eh, diferentes valores que a continuación le vamos a leer. Ok. Number one, equity. Consists of giving each person what they deserve based on their merits or condition. Number two. Truth is important since the empty precedes the nation. Number three. Is necessary for work with the partners. ¿Y ahí con cuál? ¿Cómo es? ¿Y ahí con cuál va? ¿Con cuál valor? It is necessary for work with partner. That is, is trust. Trust. Uh, yeah, it's trust. For, sorry. Es la misma. Sí, yes. ¿verdad? Trust is necessary for work with the partners. Uh, number three. Workplace diversity is much more than use hiring people with different background. It also refers to the variety of abilities, cultures, beliefs, sexual orientation, experience, and ways of thinking. All of this makes up an individual uh, identity and is reflected in their work style. Number four, truth. 
they work with people who need to improvise their leads. Me ayuda con la última, compañero, por favor. What happened? Monument is a very important value for the foundation because it allows people to fulfill their projects. Okay, thank you. No lo vaya a borrar, por favor. No lo vaya a quitar. Eh, Moses, please. Um, what happens is there that you included two times with different definition with trust, right? Two times, trust. trust. Then, then, déjeme ver. Um, the, the workplace, the, the diversity. Diversity. Eh, me lo han definido más, me, me lo han hecho más como una definición de lo que es workplace diversity, pero como valor. Nos hace falta ahí porque lo han hecho como una descripción nada más, right? Que es el workplace diversity. That is what you have done. But we need to think about which is the value that you want to consider in there, right? Okay. Me, me dice cuando deje de compartir. Okay, escucha. okay, now you can do it. You can do it. Solo esa observación tenía porque el, el workplace diversity sí es más como una definición que lo han hecho and instead of value. Okay. Okay, and the final team, the last one. Solo queda uno. Yes, <laughs> but... No? <laughs> no, no, no. No, but we don't finish it. We don't... It doesn't it's necessary for the for the presentation. So... No, um, present what you have. Oh, okay. Okay, Don't just worry. uh okay. Um the group number one, just um uh, the name of the enterprise is the Gomez Factory. So can you, we are, can you can you repeat? Gomez Factory. Gummies, okay. <laughs> okay. You like it's, it's, Char it's Charlie's factory and Gummies Factory. That's okay, it. okay. It's the same, it's the same. Imagine that. So okay. uh, <laughs> Uh, we are company no, Gummies Factory has a top has a leadership top in El Salvador because we have values inside of them. Um, one of the values is the responsibility with a better service and attention to their customers. For example, another value is the efficiency uh, in the delivery times of their products in all El Salvador and. Uh, another one is a leadership to generate total confidence in our innovative products. But just uh, we are right number three values. That's the same. Okay, you didn't finish. Okay. okay. But you see, but you see, but but you can continue. You can finish it later, right? But at least you started and you follow. Now, when you include responsibility, that was the correct way, right? Very okay, good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, guys, now that you have been talking about this, I have, uh, let me see. <clears throat> let me see, let me see. I have a quiz for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have a quiz, guys. No, nah, but this is, this is for you uh, to have fun. If you make mistakes, don't worry, right? This is just a matter of practicing. What you have been doing in this moment, we are going to continue with one exercise. 
that I have designed for you, I'm going to post a link in the chat box. Get into, click on it, please, and you are going to get into a game. That is a game that it has 10 uh, different equations and uh, you click and start and start answering it, right? It is related to the values that we have been uh, working with. And don't worry if you make mistakes, right? Let us go and complete it. Can you do it? Can you? Is it available for you? Can you see it, the quiz? Tell me yes, no. Chicos, ¿lo pueden abrir? No. Eh, pide ingresar correo. Dice que no es público, que hay que pedir como autorización. El correo, no, se tiene que ingresar. Déjenme sí, ver, es correcto. He said the resource has been not made in public. It's belong to you. Please log it on to accept it, to make it public. Sí, así es. No es público, dice. Okay, Necesitamos. Okay. Give me, give me, give me. Dice que, no que, salvamos, que, lo, que no. lo tiene que compartir Ahorita en el botón no share. Como dar acceso a. Yes. Para hacerlo público, haga clic en el botón compartir. Yeah, but I, I, I... Title embedded set. Publish. My God, what did I do? No se pudo, bravo. Ah. <laughs> No. Teacher, no tiene un botón que diga share. ¿Cómo no? Pero me pide otra cosa. Me pide, me dice private and share resource. Pero luego le doy um, this title, start with a title, copy. Quiz. Vamos a ver. Ok, 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 ok. I have already done. Let's see. No se van a salvar. <laughs> Vamos a ver si ahora it works. Click on it, please. Si no está difícil, chicos. It is the same thing, but solo que juego. That is the only thing. Now, can you open it? Yes, teacher. Now? Okay, yes. go ahead. Yes, go ahead and play a little bit. Yes. <laughs>
finish. Okay, Osvaldo. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jose Roberto, because you uh, posted your result. Finish. Okay, can you post your results as Roberto has done it, please? So he got nine Finish. out of 10. Good. Good. Okay, 10 out of 10, Jessica, good. Creo que soy mute. Yes. <laughs> I was mute. Okay, thank you. Um <clears throat> then I'm telling you that we are going to I want you to go to the platform. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Yes. Have you been working with these exercises? Not yet? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so I want you to click. Now you are able to work with uh, homework three. You better do it because tomorrow, let's see, we are going to finish the first week. So you have to have Homework one, homework one, two, three, four, and five completed, right? But for today's lesson, we need to complete this one and we are going to do it here. Ahorita que tienen todo, todo muy fresco, I want you to get into this platform y contesten estas. Uh, four, five. Acuérdense que aquí igual tienen todas las oportunidades para sacar buenas todos los ejercicios, right? If you missed one time, so you can repeat it. You can have the second and the third time till you get the right ones. Can you get into it, please? <clears throat> right now, teacher? Right now, right now. Okay. Porque ya vamos para el cierre de unidad tomorrow. 
y no quiero que tengan todo acumulado for the last day. De hecho, si no han hecho homework one, two, or three, you better do it, please. I done. You're done? Okay, good. Yeah. Your result? All of them correct? Perfect. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> Ready, teacher. Good. What was the result? Was it excellent? Excellent. That's it. <laughs> Finished, teacher. Okay, good. Jessica, what was the result? Excellent. Excellent. You see? Yeah. You see, we have practiced a lot with this for you to have excellence in here. Okay, guys? All the rest, please complete the exercise para que no se les acumule. And for tomorrow, please... Be sure, be sure that you have already complete homework one, homework two, homework three, homework four, because we are doing it in this moment. But you need to work on one, two, three, and tomorrow we are going to work on homework five, right? To finish the first week. But tomorrow we're going to have the second like review from the topics 
and then we are going to have these tests. Okay? So, <clears throat> thank you because you have already participated in these exercises. Now we are going to go to the last part that is uh, the attendance, right? It is just one minute for us to keep working. Now be ready. I'm going to stop sharing it here. Um, me gustaría que todos abran la cámara a la vez, por favor, y que la mantengan hasta que terminemos la asistencia, please. Thank you. Okay. Alfredo Rigoberto. Alma Brendali. Elsa Benedicta. Magaña Present. Umaña. Perdón que no estoy leyendo los uh, last names. Magaña Umaña. Don't worry. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Present. Good. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Present teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present. José Adilson Vázquez. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. Roberto, José Roberto Revelo Calderón. Present teacher. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenny Elizabeth Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenny Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kevin Alexis Escobar Ruiz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present teacher. María René Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Present teacher. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present teacher. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Present teacher. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present, teacher. Valerie Michelle Monge Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present, teacher. And Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate your participation in all the activities. So. Good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.